Hola, Mirthi Parikh here. Welcome to Life is Organized, the place to live a simple and happy life. So you know when you're working on a task in your office or by your computer and you end up with papers scattered everywhere? Whether it's simply paying your bills or creating a proposal, the papers are maddening. Well, here's the simple step one in handling and organizing your papers. Use your folders, use your folders. Now you know, I'm all about quick and simple. So, go get yourself a box of 25 or 50 manila folders and a pencil so you can rewrite and reuse them. Don't get all caught up with label makers and color coordinated files if that's going to hold you back from getting stuff done. Now, simple step number two is use the touch method, which means that you should create a specific folder for every piece of paper you touch, unless it's being trashed or shredded. So, if you've picked up 10 bills and paid them, create a folder that says paid bills. And another one that says unpaid bills for the ones you haven't finished, but you've touched. You might have other folders like mail to go through, calls to make, papers to file, insurance papers I'm working on, rough draft of proposal, proposal notes, and you get the idea. But the main thing is do not put that piece of paper back without having a folder for it to go in. Now I know what you're thinking, but rear view, mivru, mithru, rhythm, however you say your name. That sounds fantabulous, but then I'm just going to end up with a bunch of folder piles on my desk. Am I really that much better off? Simply put, yeah -huh. Right off the bat, having piles of folders is way more efficient and productive than piles of loose papers. It is much easier and less time consuming to sort through folders because you'll have many like papers together in one folder. So you'll have way less number of folders than you would individual pieces of paper. But that brings us to the third simple step, however, which is getting these folders somewhere convenient so that you don't have tons of piles all over the place. And there are two things you should have in place to avoid this. Number one, a small filing cabinet right by your side for your papers that you need regularly but aren't currently working on. And number two, a folder filer you can keep right on your desk for papers you are currently working on right now. So that way they're really accessible and convenient to you. All right, so quick recap. Number one, buy folders. Number two, use the touch method. Put every paper you touch into an associated folder. And number three, be sure to have a filing cabinet or a file folder nearby so all your papers are convenient and accessible. Do you have other awesome tips to help keep your office and papers organized? Girl, you know I'd love to hear from you, so please share your thoughts with all of us in the comments below. And I'll see you next week with another awesome tip on how to live simple and happy. Bye! But rear view, mivru, mithru, rhythm, however you say your name.